by sound. Um, I don't particularly care for straight narrative prose poems. Uh, straight narrative tells a story with arbitrary line break poems. Um, I like a sense of sound. And, and poets that I like, like Alwyn Canal or Bridget Pagan Kelly, uh, are people who definitely tell a vivid story, but do it that reaches your heart or, or reaches some part of you, whether it's with grief or joy or ecstasy. I want the emotion. I want to be moved by a poem and not just hear a story. And, you know, like, Poets, I mean, we have local poets who are absolutely awesome. So Dan Lewis. Dan Lewis' poems are incredible. There's this, not just a music quality to it, but a sound that is telling you something, and you almost know what it is. It's so you're seeing something out of peripheral vision that you're understanding but you're not quite sure what it is. And that's how his poems, I relate to his poems like that. There's a surreal quality to them. And you know he's talking about something that deals with our society, in images, in faith. Oh, but, he's, but there's no story there, really. You know, but there is somehow. You know. You've got you've to interview with someone for this project has to do Dan Lewis. So... Especially now he's dying of cancer. So, get him. Um, him, Gertrude Halstead, Susan Roney O'Brien, Joyce Heon. Fantastic, fantastic local poets who go beyond a story, a narrative, and incorporate something of vision in their work that I, that I really love.